And the big breaking news coming in right now is on the Satyam computer services case. Remember, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's been six years and this final verdict was awaited today, the 7,123 crore uh, fraud case. Let's go across to Uma Sudhir, who's got uh, the latest on this. Uma, what is the latest that you're getting? All the 10 accused in this case have been convicted. Ramalinga Raju and his brother Rama Raju, in fact, all the, all the 10 have been convicted under cases of 120B and also 420, which is criminal conspiracy as well as cheating. And under 49A1 and A2, which is Ramalinga Raju and his brother Rama Raju, have been convicted. Under several uh, other frauds like uh, for, uh, forging the evidence and uh, uh, creating this. Uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the 409, 407, under all those sections, the rest of the people are convicted. The sentences have not yet been pronounced by the court, but uh, from what these sections appear to be, they would uh, uh, be they would be given 10 years in prison. Is what we are being told uh, right now. After pronouncing them all guilty one by one, the court is uh, giving them a chance to speak before the judge. They are likely to, of course, go and appeal against this particular uh, verdict that has been given. Right, Omar, for many who have been looking at this verdict, believe it has far greater implications. Why is that? Uh, very, very importantly, Kusum, because one, first of all, when Ramling Raju wrote that email confessional statement uh, on the 7th of January, uh, he was an icon who was really uh, uh, respected across the country and across the world. He was looked at as somebody who had, uh, uh, who had uh, increased the brand value of Andhra Pradesh and of India uh, and uh, someone like that falling only through his own confessional statement was a shock to the country because what it really showed was that there are no measures, there are no systems in place to be able to detect these kind of huge frauds. The CBI subsequently put the value at 14,000 crore rupees, which means this is really the biggest corporate fraud ever in the history of India. And such a fraud to be uh, unraveled took uh, six years. In fact, one of the uh, DSPs who I was uh, chatting with spoke about the fact that when the when the uh, you know case began, he was a sub inspector, then became an inspector, and is now uh, an, uh, an a DSP. In fact, and the judge also in fact the metropolitan uh, uh, session judge, and now he is in fact the session judge of this metropolitan magistrate. He became a session judge. So it has taken six years for this conviction to come. Uh, uh, being convicted on several counts, uh, Ramling Raju has so far served 32 months in jail. But if this uh, condition where to be implemented, he will be uh, looking at spending a long, long while in jail. And uh, on multiple crown counts, his, uh, uh, not just him, his, uh, the auditors of the uh, PricewaterhouseCoopers, uh, PwC, as well as uh, uh, Ram Mainam Party, as well as uh, uh, his uh, CFO, Vadlamani uh, Srinivas, all of them are uh, actually looking at a long term in jail. They are, of course, likely to go in appeal against this. Right. Uh, Omar, as you said, six years in the making, but the investigations has, hasn't been just by one body like the CBI. There have been a number of bodies like SEBI that have been conducting these investigations. And in fact, SEBI barred the two brothers uh, uh, from 14 years from the markets and slapped another fine. So very interesting developments. Can you just take us through the highlights of what has happened so far? There are, as you mentioned, yes, uh, multiple cases. This is the main case that the CBI took up in February 2009. You would recall that it was in January 7, 2009, that uh, so-called email that uh, in which Ramling Raju had uh, uh, written about his, uh, was seen as a confessional statement at that stage about having uh, 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 made fraud accounts, having created shell companies, having also, uh, uh, having also, uh, for, uh, uh, falsified accounts of the company to show thousands of crores in profit and to play in the stock market, in fact, defrauding his shareholders of huge amounts of money. Subsequently, of course, Ramling Raju, after he went to jail, uh, said that he, that confessional statement did not belong to him. He retracted his confessional statement and that has been the core of the arguments that were given by his uh, defense lawyers as well. But this was a case that really seen as a landmark in the history of corporate India. This is a man who was uh, given several corporate awards, corporate governance awards, uh, held up as an icon who was uh, uh, who had uh, shown the way uh, forward, an ordinary person who was able to create wealth, create value in the corporate world. And finally, for him to fall in this manner, shook up, in fact, I would say, corporate India at that point in time. 